In today's Thrifty Thursday, we ask you to rummage through your supply of craft paper. Don't have any? Ask your neighbor. Or if you're like our thrifty crafter, Kim Geyser, you'll find some at the thrift store. Either way, she's about to show us how to turn a regular piece of paper into something fancy. We're getting thrifty and crafty today with Kim Geyser at Persimmon Studio in downtown Manitowoc. Hi, Kim. Hi. Okay, so I start by cutting out a circle of some paper. Paper you have left around. Anything. And, and what it's going to turn out to be is this paper flower that you found on Pinterest. I did. Love Pinterest. Okay, so really cute. I've seen this before. I've actually pinned it to my boards too. We're going to do it now. So can my circle be that awful? Your circle can look like anything. It doesn't really matter. There is no exact way to do this. So you cut out a circle from your paper and then you just start making like a little, what do you call that? Spiral. A spiral. Thank you. Round and 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 round until you get to the end like this. Do you and see you have that? to you have to keep a little round part at the end. You called it a little, a little C. C. Okay. And then what do you do? And then you start at the end and you just keep rolling it and rolling it and rolling it. And you're gonna just keep doing that until you get it all rolled tight. Roll it pretty tight when you're doing that. Okay. That'll help it stay. And then you get this. And it stays. And then could did you tape it or glue it? I did it? put double-sided tape. I think now that I have my glue gun, I would just do a little hot glue. Hot glue right there. Keep it. Secure it. And the possibilities are endless. On branches, on cards, on anything. It's so cute. And there you have an easy, very thrifty paper rose. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. And seriously, how cute. Glue them to some branches and stick them in a vase and you have a bouquet. Put them on an old wreath that you have laying around. Or I found a frame I had in the basement that I found at a thrift store and I put a Z there for Zoe. But she doesn't like it because it's not pink. Anyway, great ideas and you can follow Kim on her blog or on her Pinterest page. Go to fox11online.com and click on Good Day Wisconsin.